by Dallas, make it hurt. Uh, hello guys, welcome back for the next uh, part or second part of this uh, 2021 winter paper uh, Excel we are solving in paper 3. Fish number 11 onwards uh, we are supposed to do. In cell B19, enter formula to calculate the cost of the crew for the rental journey. Each journey will have two crew members paid at crew rate and the other crew members will be paid at crew rate B. Okay, so we have crew, ra crew rates of A and B. So accordingly, they are paid. So if uh, the journey will have two crew members paid at uh, uh, crew rate A, A, and the other crew members will be paid at crew rate B. Okay, so here is the one. Cost of the crew here uh, itself B. What is uh, the cell B19? Okay. Here you have to uh, cost of the crew for that. Here. Uh, Ruto journey time based on Ruto journey uh, time. The cost of crew uh, for the return journey. See there for the return journey. So we have to pick this value also. So equal to uh, return journey time. That's B15. Okay, into. Now, uh, we have two members, right? Two members, the first two members into, uh, where, is, where is that A? See there, Q rate A, 8. Then plus, plus, what's the other one? Open bracket. Uh, here we have to subtract from the number of Q required minus these two people we have to reduce fine close bracket into into it's this one whatever leftovers in B of Q uh, B right Okay, so now we'll close the bracket. Cost of crew is this much. Okay, I hope you got this point here. What is this here? In B19, we have to uh, calculate the cost of crew for the return journey. Return journey uh, time. Each journey will have two crew members paid at crew rate 2 and other crew members will be paid at crew rate 2 so that's what we did first two crew members will have a pay rate A crew rate A and the rest out of number of crew members required we have to subtract it two members as a first uh, a crew A gone so that into B8 B8 is nothing but which one the uh, crew rate B cost Next, in cell B20, enter a formula to calculate the total cost of the journey, which includes fuel, the crew, and the port taxes. <coughs> uh, this just what is that? Total cost. Total cost is nothing but summing up here equal to what all? 
fuel cost uh, for the jody plus and uh, the cost of the crew plus sorry plus what's the other one here taxes here it is and the taxes put taxes here put taxes enter okay you can just see the formula there up next apply appropriate formatting to cells containing numeric values in the spreadsheet so what we are supposed to do we have to add dollars to that and having two decimal places okay wherever you have the values 12 cost cost of crew here fuel cost per jolly and uh, yeah this word hope just add dollars having two decimal values fuel used for the jolly it is liters right wherever port taxes also we have to take <laughs> put taxes in uh, dollars at uh, dollar per hour it's given right crew rate dollar per hour okay this also we can add fuel cost Okay, that all the dad save the work. Uh, save save your spreadsheet. Print spreadsheet showing the formulae, grid lines are displayed, row and column headings are displayed, page orientation is landscape, and cut this all visible. Okay, here the whole we have to what we are supposed to do grid lines they want to see okay oh here borders all borders and go to the formula show formulas fine let's go to predict here should be in landscape fine that uh you can just adjust the single page i guess right only three and it's going in a, a single line is there just press uh, the space bar like this save then file print uh oh it's all coming here it's coming over here right Okay, just adjust the columns close here we I guess we have to open tell you okay these are the formulas save yeah this is better but we have to add the what's that the headers and the column headings hydro headings okay 
like this you have to take a part okay back here now we have to remove the formulas formula click back on that they work with the values as well 40 is done Yeah, we have to show the values, single portrait, grid lights, add column, and draw headaches. Okay? So you know how to take this. Just uh, make all the values to be visible clearly, the data as well. Then go just uh, file, print. We have to change to portrait. Like this, you have to display. Okay, now let's get back. Change the data to calculate the cost of plastic rubber well from the island with the code G5. And again, we have to take a print of it. Now, let's, let's see when we enter G5, what's going to happen? Here it is G5. And uh, this year, it's a uh, we name is uh, really July something, but all the values are changed now. Again, we have to take a print of it. Yeah, go to print. I just print this, okay? Now, next, open uh, and examine the file n 2 chartcsv cell B2 to B10. Must calculate the average distance from the cycling center to the island in each atoll round it to the nearest mile okay let's open the chats charts here open with excel Where is the data? What? Now, what you are supposed to do over here? Cells B, cells B2, B2 to B10 must calculate the average distance from the cycling center to the island in each atoll. Round it to the nearest mile. Okay, we'll calculate. Enter the formula in cell B2 that displays the average distance for the islands in the first toll. And uh, that replicate this formula till there. Okay, in B2, we are supposed to enter B2. Average distance, right? So the average, uh, average distance. Here from where to where we have to get, we have to round off to the miles. Okay, then we also have to calculate the average the the charts here are this it b2 of average of let's take equal to round The average open bracket. Yeah, average double one, double two. Average of what? Average if average if because because why we have to use if there calculate the average distance from this recycling center to the islands in each toll. Each toll. For that, we have to use if. So average if. Uh, here, uh, uh, average if. Here, what is the range? Here, you see a toll uh, having the values uh, each one, and uh, it's. Uh, its details are there in uh, it 
this see islands uh, uh, file see here and its distance as well distance from recycling plant go for something how a lift all this we have so here range we will select this one oh, average uh, range here average if this is the one till here then comma see the range criteria what is the criteria for us comma there criteria is in the same table here this one puts the total based on this one okay this a2 comma now distance where is the distance again we have to go to islands uh, here islands here this is the distance right from here only you have to take the values but from here to here so its average will be calculated so till here then comma and uh, we have to round off the miles should be rounded off okay so average if we will close average if is closed see average range is done okay now number number of digits so comma there and zero will use so rounding off two miles okay so here to 21 is the average <coughs> okay then we have to replicate this to 10 okay uh this whole thing is done uh, create and fully label uh an appropriate chart to display this data save this as a spreadsheet uh, here save this as a spreadsheet as well we're we'll, we'll going to save it okay <coughs> create and fully label uh, an appropriate chart to display this data now let's create a, a chart okay based on this data okay just select here the whole thing we have to select go to insert then appropriate chart it's up to us which one you select uh kind of this one okay just reduce the size and just Uh -oh. Yeah, this is the one. Uh -oh. Choose the size of it like this here. Then, uh, what are the details of it? What else? Uh, fully label an appropriate chart. To display this data what is it actually the average distance is right yeah average distance is the one and these are the tolls right so we can add the axis over there select uh, chart design here the elements of it so axis titles primary this is a tall axis okay okay and what about this this average distance okay there's one axis that y sorry y axis also I'll take or uh, go to chart design uh, axis title vertical Where's that? <laughs> Primary vertical. Yeah, this one. Oh, where is this going? Yeah, here. So that one, uh, average distance. Average average, 
a resistance <coughs> Fine, so here it is a stick. Here. Fine, this is the one. And we have to save this as a uh, Excel. Save as in the same as a just Excel workbook. Okay, so this is done. Or take a screenshot of formula used in, uh, to calculate the, the average uh, distance. Place this in your evidence. Make sure all the formulae are fully visible. Okay, take take a copy of your chart as well. And used in, uh, to calculate the, the average uh, distance place this in your evidence make sure all the formulae are fully visible okay take take a copy of your chart as well and place it in your okay first we'll take the evidence one of the formulae Here of this uh, formula, show formulas. Uh oh, just make it fully visible. Till here. Has to go down. Just keep on moving it. Uh oh, it's very big. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. Oh God. Uh, save file, then print. Only the chart it's coming, the first one. No, we want this. Okay. So print. Yeah. This is the one. Uh, landscape or something you have to take. You have to take a print of it, screenshot of the formulae. Okay, directly we can take a screenshot of this. We need to go through the printing. Okay. This one. <coughs> Just click the print screen button. And just make the screenshot okay and just go to we have to create our own uh, evidence okay just paste it there now even the chart as well we have to yes this chart as well okay just you have to copy and paste in the evidence file just right click, select, right click, and then just take copy. Okay, copy and paste it uh, in your evidence. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Everything is done. It's a very lengthy paper. Okay, thank you.